presented by the boys. The boys. Take the fight to super I know, right? I can't wait to see the new season. I can't wait to see the new season. After 21 MCU movies, prepare 21. for the final conclusion of the Infinity Saga. And also part two of Infinity War, mm -hmm. penultimate film of phase three, intro to phase four, and backdoor pilot for about three Disney Plus shows. Whew, you remember when movies just, you know, ended, and then your <laughs> imagination had to take over? <laughs> Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Mm -hmm, let's see it. This the, the most successful crowd-pleasing global film franchise. Did you actually watch back. Endgame? But since life yes, on Earth sucks just... now, it's all about greed. I don't remember us watching it together. Loss. Lost again. I think yeah, it was one where you fell asleep. Ah, uh, are you crying? Because I've seen it before. <laughs> and despair. Yeah, it's usually the opposite way around. Today's escape is fantasy. It's in becoming a superhero. It's going back to fix your mistakes instead of scraping by in the waking nightmare of your own failure. <laughs> Can I do a time heist on my life? <laughs> you got that? Vanish, or as introverts call it, winning the lottery. That looks nice. Oh, <laughs> baseball Stop remains this. unpopular. Culture got frozen in 2017. Damn. And an actor shortage has forced directors to cast themselves. And I cried just before dessert. Now, the Avengers must band together mm -hmm. to do what every big franchise does when they write themselves into a corner. Time travel. Uh, of course. The surviving so of course. Assemble for a now that's what I call Marvel tour of your fandom with several alternate camera angles on the Avengers. I'll have that drink now. A trip to the S.H.I.E.L.D. base where they store all the movie's closure. Thank you for everything. The clips <laughs> that demand you lose someone you love, or at least your work bestie, and a daring raid to justify the existence of Thor the Dark World in a plot held together by a whole bunch of wibbly-wobbly timey-wimey stuff they'll try to explain 100 times. Either it's all a joke or none of it is. None of it's a joke. Now explain yourself. Right. If you travel to the past, that past becomes your future, mm -hmm. and your former present becomes the past. Did which you get can all that? now be changed by your new future. Now explain it again with a visual. <laughs> the no. infinity stones create <laughs> what you experience as the flow of time. Remove one of the stones, and that. Loki did a good job explaining this, though. I like that. I like that. Trying to stop something I'm going to do in our time. We're trying to undo something I've already done in there. Even simpler. Changing the past doesn't change the future. You know, maybe time travel's a paradox, no matter how it gets justified. But changing the past does See? change the future. Reunite with all your favorite Marvel changing heroes the past who are change the future. filter somewhere. Like Iron Man. At least that's what they say. Really so, it really Iron depends Man. on the, the timeline that you look at. rather die than let someone else get the last word. I am inevitable. Because they, they say that sometimes there's a theory where you actually break off into an ultimate America, timeline, and that timeline continues. In the present day has learned to curse. Son of a bitch. Something Why sucks. Why? <laughs> hell, I do. And look at guys' butts. That is America's ass. <laughs> Thor, who it's okay to make bad jokes about because he's also suffering from a very realistic post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. What do you think is coursing through my veins right now? Who cut down on the runtime by finishing his art before the movie starts? I know it's crazy. Hawkeye, who deals with the loss of his family by having a very cyberpunk midlife crisis. Ant Man, who thanks to the internet's brain poisoning is a letdown every time he's not inside Thanos's ass. Flick me. Oh Black yeah, that was a big joke. That's how you kill Thanos. In one of these movies, killing herself to motivate the boys. We have to make it worth it. At least you can tell the passage of time by her hair. That's something. <laughs> Hoping and praying they don't travel back before Iron Man 2. Nebula, who ruins the Avengers' plan so many times, the most helpful thing she does is kill Nebula. <laughs> and Captain Marvel, who's so powerful, the movie desperately finds excuses to leave her out. The things that are happening on Earth are happening everywhere. So you might not see me for a long time. Until he comes up with an excuse to bring her in. So Marvel can finally have her lead the first all-female Avengers team-up shot. Woo! Maybe Marvel will let them team up together in a sequel? Ugh. Ooh. Okay, maybe they can all pose again in the background of the Loki show. Remember <laughs> Thanos, the MCU's most complex and motivated villain mm -hmm. yet. Ever. He did. <laughs> and taking his place is old Thanos. The new old Thanos. Younger old Thanos? You know, the version who sits and lets everyone else do all the work. 
Find the stones. What will you do? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. These balls produced an atom. You used them two days ago. What the hell am I looking at? Spaceballs. Have you ever seen Spaceballs? Oh, you need to see Spaceballs. It's funny. But you need to watch all the Star Wars. Not all of them, but most of them. Most of them. Mm. Oh, At least the Wars. first couple of Star Wars. I don't like Star Wars. Oh. CGI army, the likes of which we have never seen. Before. You said the same thing about the Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. CGI armies. <laughs> but whatever. Watching the fight was the best moment of my life, and I'm including the birth of my children, guys. Sorry, kids. You're just not worthy of my time and attention. So in a world where everyone hates Game of Thrones now. Everyone's worried about Star Wars, and J.K. Rowling oh, won't stop no. crapping on the floor for legacy. <laughs> it's a minor miracle we got a satisfying conclusion to a global nerd franchise. Now just do it again, forever, or the entire <laughs> film industry will collapse. No sympathy from us, Disney. You did this to yourself. <laughs> Star <Monopoly. laughs> Iron Deficient Man. One Punch Woman. Captain Clenge. Stop this. Stop this. <laughs> Stop this. <laughs> and hardly wait. <laughs> I'm Groot. But I'm Jack Norseman. Jeremy Renner's one big line of acting. Go grab your hammer and you go find you talk to him. Go downstairs. Go help. They need you right now. We need more Russos. Give me more Russos. Avengers! Assemble. <laughs> 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 Werther's original Avenger and Ratman and Time Ben coming soon to Disney Plus. Right? <laughs> I love you 2.8 billion. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Your mobile plan is still active? Clint, you gotta turn off auto pay, man. So, you have an Avengers Endgame script for me? Yes, sir, yes, I do. Sir, oh, I my do. God. Yeah, very exciting. So, we're going to start off with Hawkeye with his family, but they all get dusted. Oh, my God. And then we go up into space and check in on Tony and Nebula. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do, uh, <laughs> do you think you could stop saying, oh, my God? Sorry, I'm just so excited. That's okay. So, anyway, it seems like Tony is about to die because he's out of oxygen and food. Mm -hmm. Oh, my <laughs> God, sir. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But then Captain <laughs> Marvel shows up and saves him because she's working with the Avengers now. Oh, Captain Marvel. Marvel, huh? So we're gonna show her meeting them and stuff? No, I mean, we already had the post credit scene in Infinity War and the post credit scene in Captain Marvel, so I feel like people know how she got there. But what if people haven't seen those movies? Uh, I mean... I'm just kidding. This is the world's most expensive TV show. It's not our fault if people haven't seen the last episode. Oh, okay, yeah, good joke, sir. So then what happens? Well, they find out what planet Thanos is on, and he looks a lot more like Shrek than he used to. Oh, people oh, like Shrek. This. And so the Avengers show up, and they're like, where are the stones? And he's like, oh yeah, no, I destroyed those. Oh, that's not good. Nope, it's not. And so then Thor, you know, chops his head off. He does what now? He cuts Thanos' <laughs> head off and it rolls off into the corner and he's dead. Well, well, I'm surprised this turned out to be a very short movie. Well, <laughs> it's a of money, though. Oh, no, it's not done. But, but Thanos is dead. Yeah, we're going to fade to black and the words five years later appear on the screen. What? Yeah, five years have passed, and everybody's super sad and depressed because all their friends are still dead. Listen, it's extremely important to me to quote Backstreet Boys as little as possible <laughs> in my day-to-day -day life, but I'm going to need you to quit playing games with my heart. Why is that I extremely do. <laughs> Just to you? Just, what's gonna say. Okay, what happens next? Well, Captain Marvel's going to be like, I'm very busy now, and peace out. It's pretty rude. And then a rat is going to set Ant-Man free from the quantum realm, which is going to be the key to saving everyone. Oh, life-saving rats are tight. Yeah, so it turns <laughs> out Ant-Man was in the quantum realm for five years, but to him it felt like five hours. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so he goes to see the Avengers and he's like, hey, time is weird, right? Maybe that's something we can look into. Okay. So they go see Tony, but he has a daughter now and he's like, time travel's impossible and this is dumb and no thank you. Oh, Tony has a daughter. Yeah, she's real adorable. She tells him, I love you 3,000. Oh, does she think he's the lead singer of Outkast? No, it's just a cute <laughs> thing she says. Oh, okay. Anyway, so Tony's gonna end up changing his mind about helping them, so then he has to figure out time travel. But he says it's impossible. That's gonna be hard to do. Actually, it's gonna be super easy barely, barely an inconvenience. oh really yeah he just tries something after doing the dishes and it works immediately well great <laughs> so the avengers have to get the rest of the team together oh, that's actually exciting. 
exactly what happened. Against Thor, but he's fat now. Oh, you just opened up a whole new world for cosplayers. Yeah, I did. And Tony's gonna call him the Big Lebowski. That movie starring <laughs> Jeff Bridges. That's the one. Jeff Bridges, who also starred in Iron Man. That's the one. Oh, damn it. I mean, it's fine. Let's just try not to mention too many real world movies. Okay, well, we'll keep it to a minimum. Just a couple of other references to like Back to the Future and Hot Tub Time Machine. Hot Tub Time Machine starring Sebastian Stan. Ah, dang it. It's bound to happen. We love pop culture references, but we have all the famous people in these things. Yeah, we do. So anyway, they have Thor, and I guess they wait for Captain Marvel to come back. No, she's busy. Yeah, but can't they, like, wait for her to make contact? Seems like she'd be good to have around. She's extremely busy. She has no time for this. I mean, okay. So anyway, the plan is to go into the <laughs> past and get Infinity Stones. Oh, time heist. But the thing is, they have a very limited number of pin particles, so they have one shot to get this right. Why don't they go back in time and steal some more particles? I mean, yeah, eventually they do. Why don't they do that, you know, right away? Because then the stakes wouldn't be so high, and also they just want to get started right away. Oh, okay. So anyway, then they break off into teams and explore a bunch of old Marvel movies. Oh, it's like fan service the movie. Exactly. It's going to be great. Like Rocket and Thor are going to go to Asgard. Very exciting. Which actually reminds me, we are going to have to get Natalie Portman back. Oh, what do you need her for? I need her to take a nap. I mean, it's going to be the world's most expensive nap, but okay. Great. So yeah, they have to steal the reality stone from inside her by poking her with a pokey thing. Okay. And some other Avengers okay. are going to go to the Battle of New York. Right. There should be three stones in New York at that time. Exactly. But then Loki he's gonna manage to grab the Tesseract and disappear. Oh, where does he go? Into a spin-off TV show. Fantastic. <laughs> also, Black Widow and Hawkeye go to four That's years exactly what happened. Sacrifice that which you love thing for the Soul Stone. Oh. Yeah, and so Black Widow dies. Well, well, thank God the team happened to send two Avengers that love each other. It is a pretty convenient coincidence. So mm. what else happens? Well, Iron Man is gonna build a gauntlet and Hulk is gonna snap his fingers and bring everyone back. Oh, wow, 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 wow. But it turns out that Thanos knows about the plan because past Nebula's face projectors connected to the same Wi-Fi network as present Nebula. Uh oh. Yeah, so they just bombed the hell out of the Avengers Logic. facility. Logic. <laughs> I didn't understand that one. I still oh, to the boy, second go okay. on. Yeah, that. no, everyone's fine. Yeah, I thought they might be. But then Thanos is waiting outside and he wants the stones because he has a new plan in mind. Oh, he does. Yeah, he's like, well, now I see that my 50% decimation thing didn't work, so I'm just gonna kill everyone and start fresh. Oh, so you took the well-developed villain from Infinity War and turned him into Apocalypse from the last X-Men movie? Pretty much, yeah. Everything they've built will fall and all that. Interesting move. Yeah. Yeah, so then it's time for a big final fight. Things are gonna get real. Oh boy. But first Thor uses lightning to braid his beard real quick. What? And then the fighting <laughs> begins. Oh boy. Okay. So it's gonna be this awesome showdown. Like Cap is gonna use Mjolnir. Wow, 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 wow. And then there's just Cap barely standing up, but he's facing down Thanos' army. Oh, there's gonna be a big disposable CGI army? Of course, this is an Avengers movie. I love it. And just when it seems like all hope is lost, Doctor Strange opens up a portal and Black Panther walks through. Oh, Black Panther, huh? What does he do? He goes, he bought me. Oh, he loves saying okay. that. Yeah, and then all of the heroes are gonna have these slow, dramatic entrances through all the portals. Wow, nice of Thanos to not attack as everyone enters. Yeah, he definitely okay. lets them have a moment. Very considerate. So then it's gonna be a massive fight. It's gonna be like, boom, 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 pow, pow, pow. That sounds great. I like the sound of that. And while all the fighting is happening, they need to get the gauntlet into this time travel van to put all the stones back in their proper places. Okay. And at a certain point, all the female heroes are gonna land in the same spot to protect the gauntlet. Wow, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be badass. I bet it will. Why why did they do that though? To protect the gauntlet. Right, okay, but why did all the female heroes land in the same spot at the same time? Did they plan that, like through their communicators? No, no, of course not. That's silly. So it's a coincidence then? It just so happens that all the female characters <laughs> and only the female characters all did that simultaneously? I mean, I wouldn't call it a coincidence. We have a I connection, really okay? Uh, stop this. You're how right. Why something like that would happen on a massive battlefield? Well, here's the thing it's going to be a very cool scene, so I need you to get all, all the way, the way off, off my back. back. There you <laughs> go. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Great. So anyway, then Captain Marvel and the gang have to get this gauntlet to the van. Captain Marvel has the gauntlet. Why doesn't she put it on and turn all the bad guys to dust? Because. Fair enough. And then Thanos Reasons. is going to end up getting his hands on the gauntlet. Uh-oh. Yeah, and then Doctor Strange looks at Tony and does this. So he's telling him that it's time for that uh, Ant-Man and Thanos' butt theory. Oh my god, no. He's telling Tony this is the one yeah, in 14 million chance. Yeah, it was a big oh, okay, gotcha. thing. So I Tony guess so. To grab all the Kill Thanos. Thanos so the stones Gork give you a huge and surge of power when you put them on, but when you take them off, there's no I mean, like, that would make sense. That's what we're going for. <laughs> 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 Tony snaps his fingers and Nasty, turns all the bad that guys that to dust. And how does that work exactly? Like, how does Tony know what to do? Like, what does he do? He just thinks really hard that he wants all the bad guys dead and then snaps his fingers. So it has the same kind of mental logistics as 
as like a birthday wish? No, no, it's not at all like a birthday wish. Well, he just has to hope for it really hard and Doctor Strange couldn't tell him or it wouldn't come true. That sounds like a birthday wish. It's not a birthday yeah. wish. A little bit. Anyway, so then Tony dies. <laughs> oh, very sad. And then Captain America has to travel back and put all the stones in the exact times and places they were taken from. Oh, so he has to go to Asgard and stab Natalie Portman with a thing? Yeah, I guess so. And he has to go to Vormir and have a weird conversation with Red Skull and ask for directions to the kiddie pool where you get the soul stone? I, I mean, yeah, I guess he has to do that too. Very uncomfortable situation. Anyway, so instead of coming back through the time machine, Cap decides to live a full life with Peggy Carter, so he ends up super old. So he just lived a full life while Bucky was out there somewhere getting tortured? I guess he did. And when he kisses Sharon Carter, that's like his niece or something? Uh. And what about when he goes, maybe we can not think about this too much and just enjoy it for what it is? Oh, uh, okay, that sounds good. Great, and so There's that's it, you know, Cap is old, Iron Man is dead. Yeah. But I mean, we could go visit him whenever with the time machine, right? I mean, yes, but... You know, let's not do that. Uh, I don't know, it could be a big money maker. Please don't. I'm just saying, it's possible. I just think, you know, it'd be nice if character oh deaths boy. were permanent, you know? It kind of takes away from their sacrifices if they pop up in other stuff. Okay, okay. Do you agree? Yup. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the question is, who did it better? Honest Trailer or Pitch Meeting? What's your pick? Honest Trailer. Honest trailer, I'm Honest going trailer. with pitch meeting by default. I'm actually very excited to see Moon Knight. That's the one I'm really looking forward to. You seeing. know what? I'm excited to see She Hulk. But she Hulk? She that Hulk. looks actually pretty yeah. good. Let, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's the video. What do you pick? Pitch meeting, honest trailer? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, my name is Will. I'm Ali. And don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. Stay golden, my friends, and thank you for watching. Bye!